think of dt squared as dt times dt, so it's a double t. Okay, I'm going to call that function in front of dt squared, I'm going to call it gtt. G meaning it's part of the metric, tt meaning it's in front of dt times dt. And then you dt squared. Okay, you all see that? So, you have the, so the thing that's in front of it is called g. So this is the, the g that appears before the tt, in other words, before dt times dt, in other words, before dt squared. And okay, we're going to see symbols like this a lot. Right. Obviously, what would be the function that appears behind, let's say, d theta square? What do you guess? G theta theta. Okay. Phi, which is the potential, is also this function in front of the, of the dt square. We're going to call it either phi or gtt. It's the same thing. In its guise as a Newtonian gravitational potential, it's phi. In its guise as the coefficient in front of dt square, we'll call it gtt. But they're the same thing. We're going to label this gtt, this function here, which is in front of dt squared, dt squared, which is dt times dt. The function in front of it, I'm going to call gtt. Labeling it by two t's because it's dt times dt. 